an update of the e mini charts the standard and poor's 500 futures as we can see the the break to the upside that that we are were expecting for last week took place we have a break or reversal target at 141066 uh, that target was broken and due to this uh, this target being broken we have a possibility to a, con a strong continuation to the 1450 level or even uh, 1500 level. Uh, the tenants line, the trend line we have here, is strong, uh, and we can see that we could uh, expect from for this coming week uh, a pullback to the 1400 zone. We have a fourth uh, target to 1392. Uh, so, if this is the the case, we could expect that this trend line could be the trigger to the to a um, downside movement so if this turn line holds uh, the the upwards movement will will continue but if this turn line uh, uh, fail to to give support to the to the upwards movement we um, we are again in the possibility of a, a strong down movement so how we can expect to anticipate this week the signal is clear Due to the movement of the last weeks in, a, in the weekly chart, we have that if we cross this level, this potential level, uh, technically we have overlapping here. If we count one, two, three, and four, we have an overlapping over here at the 1400 zone. But I if we make a complex wave count, we can um, take this out of the equation. But even in that situation, we have that if this coming week is a strong week and we can achieve the 1450 target, we are no longer uh, in a position of uh, a web count that uh, has an increased possibility of a counter trend. If we achieve 1450, the, the down, the bear vision on the E-mini will be severe uh, undermined. So the probabilities will change, and uh, at 14:50 we have to seriously f uh, give a thought, a thought to 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 the consideration that we are in a major reversal. But if this situation occurs and we are at 14:50 during this week, and a major reversal has to be taken into account, we uh, have to ignore the severe problems of the American economy. If this is the situation, the fundamentals uh, should kick in. And this um, situation at 1450 uh, will have to deteriorate uh, quickly, or we are in a major uh, reversal. So the weekly chart gives you uh, the trigger. If this week uh, gives the level of 1450, we are in a major revers reversal, uh, regardless of the fundamentals. But in a daily chart, we have that 1450 is. Um, extremely there, but we have uh, one um, advantage. If we reach 1450, but this movement uh, becomes a tail, as we can see in the Friday movement, uh, and we are closing uh, last week's at the 1400 level, uh, the tail should be ignored, and we are going to resume a downturn movement. Uh, the characteristic, the principal characteristic of the movement can see in the SPY, the ETF of the Standard & Poor's. Here we have a different trend line. This trend line uh, encountered the movement of the Friday at the 1420 zone. And as we can see in the last bar, the last bar failed to comply on a, a consolidated breakout to the upside for this movement. And we have that the dates to break this zone, 1420 zone, this dynamic resistance line was from 21st April to 15 May. So the coming week will be critical as it was the last one. The last one needed a 1400 breakout to the upside to be sure that the possibilities of a, a upside continuation could take place. Um, but that was accomplished. But at the same time now, we have a strong possibility that the movement was completed, so we have to wait this week 
since the down trend line will kick in in the next week and if we can achieve a strong cross of the 1420 level the possibility to continue to 1450 will be broken and we resume a downturn as i stated before a downturn uh, resume will encounter a strong resistance in 1250 level so even if we are in the verge of a correction continuation we we have a 20 uh, 1250 level to be sure that could be the ceiling uh, the, um, the floor of the movement so we have to wait this week uh, particularly the next two days to see if this line could be broken or not